everybody just a quick update um i finally got some more gravel i got two five pound bags of the same kind it's a different brand but it's the same look and i've got three five pound bags of black coming just straight black because if you look real close you can see the black rocks in it I added the black rocks myself and as you can see in here you can see there's no black so I will be adding some black pebbles to it just to add a little more rocks to the tank and <clears throat> I'm waiting on chemicals to get here like those chemicals down there I'm waiting on chemicals to get here and we'll, they should be here by Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and then I'm going to empty the tank to right here to where I can get down in the bottom and like push the pipes down because from the vibrations and everything, they've kind of shimmied their way up to the top of the rocks. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, like, one of my big river rocks <coughs> on top of the underground filtration to hold it down in the ground until we can get it covered up like this. Because this part, once it's covered up, it ain't that big of a deal. But I'm going to have to lower the water to, like, right there. So I can get down there and spread it out evenly, get it out from under the pipes, and everything like that. I, like I said, I do have three, three black pebbles, solid black, that I'm going to mix in with these. And anything I have left over will be used for that tank and that tank. Um, I do believe I'm going to put the river rocks in this tank and put black ones in that tank and I still um I ain't at the point where I can have fish because the pH balance isn't quite right and I don't have any more um pH balance chemical so that should be here either Tuesday or Wednesday I still however need to get my 10 gallon tank up and running because that's going to be my hospital tank because like the first aid all the first aid stuff I have for the tank says one teaspoon or one tablespoon per 10 gallons so and I'm sorry my living room's a mess dogs were in here playing earlier the sheets on the floor for the dogs blankets for the dogs and yeah but, for the most part, it looks a lot better than it did when we were building the tank. Because we had the tank stand sitting right here. We had most of this stuff moved out. And, you guys, I'm so thrilled. Um, my grandbaby got to see my tank yesterday. And she's, like, wanting to look at it through this angle, this angle. She sits, she stands right here. I push that up against the tank, and she sits right here. And she'll sit there, and it ain't even got any fish in it yet, and she's mesmerized by it. And she's asking me if she can help uh, pick out my fish. At three years, at two years old. Yeah, she's about to be three. But, anywho. So, me and Roy have decided that we're going to let hazel choose what goes in the 30 gallon okay but that's gonna be a little ways down the road but grammy is gonna let her pick out some of grammy's fish um because of her being so young i'm going to uh what i plan on doing is uh like picking out the two or three fish at pet smart or wherever I go, and being like, which one do you want? So, now, there is an issue. Now, this looks horrible. This is working fine. That's working fine. 
But Roy, instead of taping it like this, he put a piece of tape and then pushed this up. And it's under over the gravel now. Yay. And so I'm going to have to take all this off and reseal it because it's still seeping air right here. But what in the world are y'all barking at? Y'all hush. That's the neighbors. They bark at everything. Good grief. Bad thing about having dogs. Anywho, back to the fish tank. Um, now, like I said, I have chemicals coming, and hopefully by then we will be able, I have to wait until Roy has his hernia surgery, but after he goes back to work, I will be able to get more fish. Now, um, you have to excuse my messy craft room. My craft room. It still has toys in it for Hazel. I still have these soaps. I am going to make more of this soap. I'm only going to make these with the loofah in it. for Because I got plenty of oatmeal, milk, and honey. I might make some more white sage. And make some more of this. But this is made out of melt and pour. Okay, but I'm going to make it out of oils. But I do have some soaping stuff coming. I bought me a new scale. I got the oils coming from Brambleberry. And I've got basically everything coming, and it should be here like Tuesday or Wednesday. So basically Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to be having a bunch of packages delivered because Roy got me a new scale because we can't find my other one. It was in my cabinet, and then when we moved, moved it into here, it was no longer there, so we just decided to buy another one. But um, I've got that coming. Um, only other thing I need to get is a temperature gun, which I had one and somebody took it. So I've either got to find the one I had or get a new one. But that should be here like maybe Thursday at the latest. But hey, Scooby, what are you doing, Scoobers? What you doing, Scoobers? What are you doing, my boy? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Scooby. You heathen. <laughs> I love you, Scooby. I love you, Scooby. Alright, get down. Get down. Okay. So, that's pretty much it on the update for the soaping stuff. And also... For my nail art videos, um, I got a bit of the bad bad news. I have a few bottles of fair nail polish that I can use. Um, but what happened was I was letting a, a girl I was raised with in foster care um, come stay with me to help her out. And her and a friend of hers stole over like 200 bottles of Theranol polish from me so and so it might take me a little more time to get the nail art video started because um like i said i don't have any i have very few Theranol polish i have like a sparkly red a green and like two shades of blue so i've only got like four uh things of Theranol polish which really takes me off and it has really deterred me from helping people um, but anywho, that's about it, so until next time you guys, see you later.